Well, I am standing in front of our Lucky Day collection, um, which does not look like much of a collection right now because it has been so tremendously popular. This is something that we've just launched um, thanks to the Hopkinton Public Library Foundation, which is sponsoring the collection. And what it is, is it is the biggest, most popular books, the things that everybody is waiting for. And we have extra copies. They are not able to be placed on hold and they only circulate for two weeks with no renewals. So if you come in and that book that you've been waiting for on a really long hold list is on the shelf, it is your lucky day. And you can take it out if you can read it fast and get it right back on the shelf for the next person to read. Uh, as you can see, we've started with 25 copies and we have two right now. So people are really enjoying it. We're very thankful to the foundation for funding it. Terrific, and is it all kinds of different books? Right now it is largely adult fiction, so given the success we're hoping that we might be able to expand it to, you know, we would buy nonfiction for adults if, if there was something that was really popular, but hopefully we could even potentially expand it to teen books or children's books if we we're able to um, figure out a way to do that. Terrific, and I understand you have some big news for us. We do. Um, many of our patrons who have been coming here would probably recognize Tony Alexander. She has been at the circulation desk for more than 30 years with us and um, has been here through six directors and taken on more and more, seen the library through a lot of changes. Uh, Tony has announced that she is going to be retiring at the end of February. So after amazing contributions to this library, uh, amazing connections with our patrons. She'll be moving to the next phase of her life and we're certainly going to miss her. Um, we're very glad that she's um, doing something that's great for her with her next step. Uh, we wish her the best, we're sure the community wishes her the best and we certainly hope that folks come in over the next month or so and say goodbye if they want to say goodbye or tell her a little bit about what her time at the library has meant to them. Um, she's really been a fixture here. And it's going to be a different library without her, but we are um, very, very happy for her in her next step. We always have programs coming up. If you go to our calendar at hopkintonlibrary.org, you can see everything that we've got. Um, just highlighting a few things that we have coming in the next month or so. We have launched a baby toddler story time. So this is a story time for the younger set. And that is running Tuesday mornings and one Monday evening per month. Uh, for the teens, on February 4th, we have a crafternoon. They will be making hanging gumball machines. Um, that is sign up only, grades 6 to 12 on the afternoon of February 4th. And that same evening, Tuesday, February 4th, we have a talk on the Roaring Twenties from a historian. So we're hoping people will be interested in that. We're also asking people to mark their calendars. Friends of the Library are bringing mini golf back again, and that will be on February 28th and 29th.